Hi, this is Mike. The following video is my stretching routine that I promised you from Pickleball and the Art of Living. I do these stretches every single morning. It's made a huge difference in my life. Uh, my back pain has basically gone away. My flexibility has increased. I'm uh, more flexible than I was when I was in my 30s. And uh, that was a long time ago. But just remember, when you do these stretches, uh, make sure to do them, even if you're doing a downward dog or an upward dog, do them like a cat, slowly and languidly. Feel the sensation of that good stretch with breath. Also, make sure to schedule it. Uh, what you don't schedule usually doesn't get done. Take time to do something good for yourself by making stretching part of your daily routine. Uh, it's a pleasurable way to increase your health and well-being. So, hope you enjoy the video. Let's do this. Hi, Mike here. Today we're going to do some stretching. Such fun. Um, stretching is awesome for you in a lot of ways, and I'll kind of go through that as we do the stretching routine. But uh, for right now, let's get right to it. So when you want to stretch, you want to start out with some movement even ahead of time before stretching. Just a little movement back and forth with the arms. Let them swing. A little neck roll action. A little shoulders. Whatever it takes to loosen you up, you know, jogging and you know, jumping around in place. So we get down to the mat, we start out on our back. And we bring the knees up to the chest, make some circles in each direction. Keep one knee to the chest while we extend through our heel for the other leg, vice versa. We're gonna go through this pretty quickly today because I don't wanna tax your attention span and do my, my full thing, but it's just shows you how quickly you can get a good stretch in. Now we're going to do the dish rag where we have knees like so, arms out. I'm going to let my knees fall away to the left as I look to the right. And for you advanced kids out there, we're going to actually open our right hand, supinate it, and do the opposite with our left hand. Okay? So we're like so and so. Back and forth, getting a great full body stretch. After doing a few of those, we can extend out through our left heel and out through our left fingers, making this nice angle, extending the body, and then rotate the leg back to center. Do the same on the opposite side. Feels really good. And then we open up our body. Open our legs, arms over our head like so. Take a breath or two. And we come up. We're gonna start the animal portion of the uh, program. We start out with wagging the tail, all fours. As my left hip comes towards you, I look over my shoulder at it. Right hip, look over at it. We're getting this motion back and forth, which really helps our flexibility with our lower back again. And then to get the other direction, the extension and the flexion, we're gonna go cat-cow. Cat, arch our back. Cow, as we look up, this opposite motion again. So our back loves this kind of stuff. You can even rotate around a little bit, work on your inner salsa dancer. Just get that motion going. Then we come up into downward dog. Before we start, it's probably a good idea to kind of piston your feet a little bit so you don't start from scratch. Get that little motion going. And then we're going to push our chest down toward our feet, drop, let our head relax, get that nice feel of the downward dog into plank and right here you can pound some push-ups if you're inclined to do that so you can do your ron burgundy so i can edit this thing to go for 98 99 100 and then upward dog opposite feel looking up legs uh, knees spread a little bit so we can go into child's pose sit back on our haunches extend out through our fingers take a couple of nice breaths right here this really feels good Extends that lower back. Back up again, back to plank. Then we're gonna take our mat and fold it over, or we can just take our leg and fold it over like so. Bring it to close to 90, it can be 45 if you want to, whatever, when you're starting out. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna sit down on our haunches and we're gonna rotate back and forth here over our right glute. And this creates great flexibility for anybody that has hip problems. This is a wonderful stretch. If you're more advanced, you can come down all the way to the ground and extend out. 
So it's very nice. You can feel that opening back in here. We do it both ways, of course. Again, you can stay up like this. This is perfectly fine. Just feel, use, use your own sense of your body to feel what feels right for you. You don't want to overstretch this. It's important not to like do that, you know, bouncy type stuff or to overstretch. It's also good to extend your stretch and really savor it during your out breath. So as I come down here, I do a nice, a nice exhale. As I exhale, I can extend a little further if I want to. Again, we never want to extend past the point of where it feels nice. If it's not feeling good, you're not doing it right. So just savor that feeling. Back up to downward dog. One more of those. And from here, you can either walk your feet up towards your hands, or you can just hop up like so. And then we do a forward bend. Take a couple of nice breaths here. This is a great place where on the out breath, you can just extend and really feel that, that stretch. You can keep your legs, your knees locked like this, or you can keep a little flex to them if you want to, if it helps you feel better. And then we rise up vertebrae by vertebrae. And maybe bend back at the hips. Pick some fruit. We're gonna rotate as my left hip comes down, my left arm goes up, right hip goes down, right hand goes up. We alternate, picking fruit. Again, this is getting that motion here in our hips. We've already, through the different motions, we've done rotation. So if you're into the twist, we've gone this direction. We've gone extension and flexion as well by our downward and upward dog movements. We go like so and like this, okay? So all of this flexibility leads to you feeling better during the day. It puts a lot less, lot, lot less pressure on your back, especially if you're sitting a lot during the day, or if you're driving or whatever, this is just so important for your health. So don't only do it in the morning or whenever it is that you do it, I do it in the morning because that way it doesn't get away from me. But during different times of the day, go ahead and stretch when you can, get up from your chair, move around a little bit, you know, whatever, it's like you know, your, when your mom said, if you make that face, it's gonna stay like that. Well, if you sit down like that, your body's gonna stay like that. So keep things in motion. It's, uh, it's good for your health and it's good for your mood. It really does help. Um, obviously, I'm rushing through this a bit so you can see all the different moves. I'm gonna put down uh, this routine and writing for you on the website so you can uh, follow it along a lot easier. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, let me know. And uh, just as a teaser, um, I'm also going to do uh, a small video after this to show you a stretch you can do while you're at the desk or while you're watching TV or whatever. It takes exactly zero minutes out of your day because you can continue to do what you're doing while you're getting a really excellent stretch for your hamstring, back, and entire body. So thanks for joining me. Uh, hope this helps you. Make sure to schedule it in your day. If you don't schedule it, it doesn't happen. Um, so. Enjoy the day. Thanks.